All right, when I was a kid, Blockbuster was a special place to me. It wasn't just an abandoned building where people shoot smack at like it is today. No, back then it was a haven for all your video game and movie rental needs. Now, my family didn't have a lot of money when I was growing up, so when we went to Blockbuster, it was a huge deal. I'd be like, holy hell, we're going to Blockbuster? What is it, my birthday? Did we put our house up for a second mortgage? What the hell's the occasion, mom and dad? It was like a mini vacation for me. I'd like get my picture taken there and make like a photo album. My vacation to Blockbuster. Here's me and the cashier. Here's the parking lot. Here's the syringe I found in the parking lot. Now, my most memorable visit to Blockbuster had to be the time that I got Pokemon Stadium for the Nintendo 64. I remember my friend Michael telling me about this Pokemon Stadium game. Dude, it looks so real. I thought a goddamn Charizard was gonna hop out of the screen and snatch up my little sister. Wow. I was like, hell yes, give me some of that shit. Because this was a big deal. It's Pokemon in 3D for Christ's sake. This was right around the time where kids were selling their bodies on the street for Pokemon cards. So, a few days later, a Christmas miracle happens, and we got to go to Blockbuster. So we pull up, I get out of the car, I'm prancing through the parking lot like a Las Vegas showgirl, and I waltz into the video game section, and of course, every goddamn copy of that Pokemon Stadium's gone. There's like a tumbleweed bouncing across the floor, and I'm like, God damn it, I'm gonna get stuck with Pilot Wing 64 or some shit like I always do. Nobody wants to play Pilot Wings, what the hell is that shit? But on that that day, the Lord Almighty decided to throw me a bone. Let the boy have his Pokemon! I check up front to see if, on the off chance, a copy might have been returned and not put on the shelf yet, and lo and behold, there it was. Boom! I got it! Score! But we're not out of the woods yet, because now I gotta listen to my dad argue with the cashier about our triple-digit late fees that we've acquired over the years, because my dad never returned anything on time. We'd have movies out for weeks, they'd have, like, my dad's picture hanging on the wall, you'd have to, like, sneak in wearing disguises and shit. Yeah, it says you guys had Chitty Chitty Bag Bag for, uh... Uh, 36 days. Okay, look, I'll give you $2 to put towards the late fee, all right? That's all I got. Yeah, you're gonna have to do better than that. Oh, for Christ's sake, what do you got in your pockets? Uh, I got a Skittle. $2 and a Skittle, how about that? Well, if that's all you guys can pay, you're gonna have to pick something a little shittier to rent, okay? Uh, you got Pokemon Stadium here. I mean, that's Pokemon in 3D, for Christ's sake. I can rent you, like, a, uh, Steven Seagal movie. Or, or this one, Air Bud plays racquetball. Oh, you can kiss my ass with Air Bud. I'm not getting an Air Bud movie, you hear me? So somehow, my dad talked our way into getting Pokemon Stadium that night. It might have been through sheer violence. I don't know. I don't remember. But I did get it. I do remember sitting in the back seat, spazzing out like an idiot. Holy hell, I can't wait to get home and fight my fake animals against each other. I got home, and I played that game for like 16 hours straight. I didn't eat. I was like shitting in a bucket in my room. Like I said, it's Pokemon in 3D. What a time to be alive. So a week goes by, and I still have the game. Now, either my dad forgot to take the game back, or he just didn't care. Probably both, if we're honest with each other. Either way, I wasn't telling him. I was gonna ride this wave for as long as I could. Another week goes by, and then a month goes by. Eventually, we get a letter in the mail from Blockbuster, and they're all like, Hey, you better give us our shit back, or we're gonna do something about it. Now what that something is, I have no idea. They gonna send a SWAT team to my house in the middle of the night, try to steal the game back? Where is it? Where's that Pokemon Stadium for the Nintendo 64? Did you hide it in one of your Furbies? Could open the Furby. <laughs> my dad comes into my room like, hey, do you got a game from Blockbuster here? Some, uh, Poke, uh, Pokeman Stadium? What is it? Pokey, Pokeytron? Pokeytron State? What the hell is it called? And I'm like, yeah, dad, I've had it since like the fourth grade. I don't even know where it's at right now. I think you've been using it as a coaster for your beer the past couple weeks. I didn't really know what we were supposed to do at this point. We've had the game so long. Do we just drop it off in the middle of the night? Like we're abandoning a baby at a fire station? But to my surprise, my dad's like, oh well, to hell with it. Looks like we're keeping it. I was like, oh hell yeah. We high-fived, confetti flew from the ceiling. Looks like I got a Pokemon Stadium for practically nothing. Years went by and I kept that game. And you know what Blockbuster decided to do about it? Nothing. They closed. Netflix assassinated it. I still got that Pokemon Stadium. Now, sure, I guess we practically stole the game if you look at it that way. But I don't care. I'd do it again. And you know why? Because it's Pokemon in 3D, for Christ's sake. How many times do I gotta tell you? BruceDude.com just wanted to give a uh, quick shout out to Mustache Wax. He helped me out on this video. Very funny channel, very underrated too. He's let me do a few voices on a couple of his videos. Plus his animation doesn't look like uh, a bunch of garbage like mine does. So uh, go check him out.